So today we're on a working nursery in the UK looking at how to create a stock solution to accurately feed your plants throughout the growing season. Before you make a stock solution, it's a good idea to consult the product information sheet for details of the product's use. It's available on our website. More importantly, consult the MSDS or safety data sheet which is also available online. This gives you details of the personal protective equipment to wear. And the key things that you would use um, according to the sheet are eye protection because obviously you can get splashes from the liquid when you put in the granules in. Nitrile gloves to, to protect your hands from the concentrated fertiliser solution and it also is advisable to wear a lightweight spray suit to protect your clothes and skin. Firstly let's open the bag using a knife or scissors taking care to cut away from your body. So if you make a standard sock solution we need to add one kilo of fertiliser to every 10 litres of water. Using a scoop, we weigh out the required amount, in this case, one kilo. It's important to make sure the product is fully dissolved before we add it to the main tank. So we add it to a bucket containing about five litres of water. The temperature of the water has an effect on the solubility of the product. So if the water is very cold, you should add some warm water to speed up the process. We stir thoroughly to ensure the product is fully dissolved. We then prepare the stock tank with just under five litres of water. We then carefully add the concentrated stock solution to the main tank, adding extra water as necessary to make it up to 10 litres and keep it agitated. So now we've made our 10 litre stock solution, we just need to set it up with a dosatron. So we put it on the trolley, uh, we put in the hose with a filter on the end, and then we check the, the dilution rate on the diluter. Now this is an, old, an older style um, diluter, and it's marked in percentages. So 2% is 1 in 50, 1% 1 is 1 in 100. So we just adjust this to 1 in 100 if that's what we want. And we connect up the hose and we're ready to start feeding. Being a fertiliser, the product is quite hydroscopic and will readily absorb water vapour from the air. Once opened, reseal and keep fertilisers in the original packaging and place in a sealed container or bucket and store in a cool, dry place.